Greetings and salutations gang, welcome back to another video. Now despite living in a house, we're still dealing with some serious limited space issues here. From cluttered corners to chaotic drawers, it's time for a major transformation. And if you're also someone who works from home, you know the importance of having an uncluttered inviting space to relax and work. So today is all about reorganizing, decluttering, and setting ourselves up for success. Now let's get started. Now most importantly, you know having a closet full of clothes you never wear isn't optimized space. My general rule of thumb is if you haven't worn it in the last three months, it's time to swap it out. Your wardrobe is a reflection of yourself, so keeping it cluttered with clothes that are no longer your style will only make it harder to build outfits you actually want to wear. Categorizing clothing items and using creative closet organizers are the secrets to a well-organized wardrobe. I recently picked up these drawer dividers that allow me to neatly keep my clothes folded. They're size adjustable and can fit in almost any drawer, which has been great to keep everything neat and tidy. Not only do they keep my clothes from flying around, but they also help me color coordinate my pieces to keep it even more organized. And rather than keeping all my dirty clothes in one laundry basket, I recently picked up this hamper that has three different compartments so you can save time by separating your clothes before you do your laundry. This is super helpful to ensure you're not mixing colors during your wash. I've also been trying to keep a habit of color coordinating my closet, so aesthetically it already looks a lot better and I can find the pieces I need to quickly. If you're short on closet space, then I also recommend these hanging organizers that are perfect for pants or sweats that you don't want taking off space in your dressers. And if you're someone that wears a lot of business slacks, this sliding pants hanger is great to hold multiple pairs in a slim profile. Now in order to utilize my bedroom as a filming set, I reached out to a brand called Pambo Design as they offer creative closet solutions using industrial pipes to give you that luxury boutique aesthetic. I've enlisted some of my handyman friends to get this piece installed, so let's come back to check on them in a bit. Now that our closet is functional and organized, let's transform this chaotic home office into an efficient workspace. Now the first step to conquering clutter is sorting and purging. You're never going to be able to utilize your space effectively if the things you own just keep piling up, so taking stock of the things you actually use and should stay versus just laying around and can be stored away is crucial. Sorting through items can be a daunting task but it's essential to free up clutter and allows you to optimize your space accordingly. With bags filled with unused items, we're making some real progress. Now that we've decluttered, it's time to maximize the available space. From floating shelves to attic storage and hanging organizers, we're making the most of every nook and cranny. Here's a couple of my favorite creative storage solutions. Now naturally as a filmmaker, I need a lot of equipment, but they don't always have to be out in public. Using our attic space, I've installed some hooks to hang light modifiers to ensure they're off the floor but easily accessible for whenever I need to film. It's a perfect solution for keeping the gear used out of sight when it's not needed. And once again, it allows you to declutter your space by storing the items you're not using on a daily basis. Next, I've installed some floating shelves in the bathroom, which definitely is lacking some space, so this will be great for a candle and my glasses anytime I shower. And finally, to save time setting up lights, I've actually mounted this boom arm to the wall that can extend and fold up whenever I'm not using it. This is honestly one of my favorite additions because I can light any setup I need in the studio without having to bring in bulky light stands. Plus, you can rotate the arm exactly where you need to get your best lighting possible. Now, whenever I'm done filming, there does tend to be a chaotic mess everywhere. After setting up props or gadgets for a thumbnail, I try my best to reset the space so I'm not stressed about moving on to the next project until my space is clear and organized. If I didn't make it a habit to pick up as I go, the space would quickly become unusable to film anything. Now one of my other favorite additions has been the standing desk on wheels so that I can roll it in and out of the studio whenever I need. Once I'm done, I can just move it back out to the office. And naturally, as a filmmaker, I have tended to accumulate a fair amount of gear. While I did pick up a tool chest to hold the majority of my equipment, it's clear that space is at a premium here. One essential piece has been these pegboards from Ikea. They're the perfect solution to hold all your miscellaneous equipment and keep them in an easily accessible location. These floating containers are great for lens covers, batteries, and cables. I've even got a battery charging station so that I can easily grab a fresh battery before starting to shoot. Now another important addition was creating a padded insert for my lenses and camera bodies. These are some pre-cut foam boards that I traced out to fit my gear perfectly. And finally, I've installed some floating shelves above the entire tool chest to store other pieces of equipment I may need to film with. And last but not least, it's time to redecorate. I've had this studio space for a few months now, but it wasn't until recently that I started to create a cohesive aesthetic for this room. I've got some vintage cameras to showcase, as well as some other cool props for a backdrop. It's honestly been my favorite thing having a studio space where I can create in any way I want and have so many dope backdrops to do so. But obviously I had to include my own photography to bring the whole space together. Now if you're watching this, then our website summerchateau.com is officially live where you guys can pick up your very own prints and elevate any bedroom, apartment, or home office. Now I'm super excited about this upcoming journey, so make sure to stay tuned for more updates. But if you guys have stuck around to the end of the video, you can use code CASACHE to get 25% off your order. But ladies and gentlemen, after a long day of organizing, our space is finally ready for the grand reveal. As you can see, there's been a massive improvement from our chaotic state to an organized haven. The 
Pamela design wardrobe honestly looks perfect and is a great backdrop to film any of my content. It's got so much space to hang different clothes, pants, jackets, and it's honestly one of the best ways to save space in a tiny room. And our studio and home office have also been tidied up to ensure an organized and efficient workflow. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this journey from chaos to order and found some inspiration for your own spaces. Remember, a little organization can go a long way. If you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to drop a like down below. Let me know what other types of content you guys want to see. And as always, folks, don't stress, finesse, peace, y'all.